What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the New York Islanders. We're picking up where we left off here at the trade deadline. Not having the, the strongest year ever. We uh, sit here in a third in the division. Uh, pretty close to the wild card slot, though, so there is a chance we could fall out. We haven't been playing exceptionally well, so we're considering making some moves here. And their weakest spot right now is in our defensive core. Yeah, definitely in our defensive core. So, what I was considering here is uh, making a trade for a rental guy. And, you know what? We might... I, I, I've, I found a couple really good options here. Really good options. So, I'm going to show you guys what I was looking at. So, the first one is in Florida. There's Aaron Ekblad here with one year left at 8.4 mil. Really good all-around uh, all player. <laughs> yeah. Good 2AD guy. Really good defensive stats. A lot of value. And... Florida's uh, kind of on the borderline being a playoff team, so they might not want to, you know, get rid of them, obviously. The other option here is in Columbus, who is not less of a playoff team, and it's Seth Jones here. Uh, still really good defensively. Uh, still got, you know, a bit of offense to him, some decent discipline, good poise. Uh, de you know, decent at production, a little bit less on his one year left, and this team isn't in the playoffs right now, and they still have a pretty strong defensive core around him, so... They don't need him as much, and as they're out of the playoffs, you know, maybe they are looking to shake things up, and this guy could be could be something that we want to look at. So, preferentially, I'd rather go for Jones. It's, uh, it's less value and a bit easier to get, especially if it's only going to be a rental. So, and, okay, perfect, and they do want Klein. So, yeah, and, and the, Klein is the guy who I was going to trade into this. Like I said, um, I saw some suggestion to move him up into the top six. Like, we, we've tried it before. He just, yes, he has a good shot. He's always had a good shot, but the problem is he just doesn't take enough shots. He's got 94 shots only, and it's played 62 games. I mean, no, it's definitely not enough. He, he only averages, like, 1.3 shots per game, which is way, way, way not enough. And uh, he's been, it's been consistent like that throughout his entire career, as you can see. It's just not enough shots com with his ice time. It, when we looked at people with similar ice time than him, like, they had way, way more shots. So, this guy is just not an offensive tool. He never will be. And he's not really doing what we need him to do defensively either, or on the penalty kill. So, we really have no more use for this guy. He's on this last year. Might as well get rid of him. So, I'm going to put him into this deal. And that, it might, I don't think it'll quite be enough one for one, especially that they don't want to give up Jones. We could retain, but there's no real need to do that. Uh, what we will look for, though, is maybe a third liner as well. <laughs> they have Bellows. We could pick up Bellows again. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see Zucker here. Ooh, ooh, third line looks really good for Zucker. Wow. Not, not that many shots, but that's okay. It doesn't really need to be that. Could be... Ooh. I really like his defense. And he brings a bit of offense to the table as well. Good discipline. Decent poise. And one year left as well. No, they don't want to give him up, but still. Could be a good option. Yeah, we'd have too many skaters. That's fine. We'd have to give something back here. Nothing wrong with that. What else do they want here? Any junk guys that they want that we don't need? McCutcheon, we don't really need any more Jennings. We could throw in Jennings since he's uh, probably not going to need this guy anymore. He's okay. And as a defensive defenseman, I don't want to quite get, get rid of him yet. But he does take a lot of penalties. It is a lot of fights, though. Let me see how we're looking defensively for the lefties. Let's see. Holmquist, lefty defensive defenseman. Actually built a lot better. Yeah, let's throw in Jennings. He'll be our roster player we throw in. We'll probably throw in a pick or something like that to help push it across. We can likely do that. Or, do we have a starting goaltender or something? We do. Ackerland, cool. We can save our picks and throw this guy in there. I like that idea as well. Yeah, let's throw Ackerland in there. Alright, and then maybe try to take back some later picks or something. If we can. If not, well that's okay, but... Maybe four, five, six in there. Maybe, probably not, but we're going to try this anyway. So, this is a pretty large trade here. 
Uh, getting Seth Jones, if we if we can make this work. I think we can. So, Klein, Jennings, Ackerland for Jones, Zucker, and a 4, 5, and a 6. Let's see what they say to that. Uh, offers filling with the needs. Value just isn't there. Okay. Well, I kind of still want those picks. Is there anything else? Maybe an unsigned guys that I could throw in? A couple red top nines. Yellow top nine. 64, 21. Oof. Yeah, no, let's throw that guy in there. Let's add that guy in there. See what they say to that. Uh, nope, just value just isn't where it needs to be. Anything else? We might have to throw in like a, uh, a, a round one pick. I didn't want to, but we might have to. Okay. Bunch of these red top sixes. 20 at 64 is not that great. So you red top four, it's a bit better, but again, it's value and I don't think he will grow that well so let's throw that in as well see what they say to this we can start removing picks all right so let's start removing some picks here just to try to i, I just want to get closer here to see what they're gonna say try to get not where we need to be value wise yeah not where i need to be at all with the value interesting okay so might have to be a pick here try to get ourselves close enough but we might have to throw in our own pick. Might have to be our first here. I don't quite want it to be the first. I like picking. But it might have to be if we want to have a good run here. We could always pick up some other picks. We might not have a first, but we can always pick up some later picks, have some shots. But let's try a second in there first. See what they say. No, value is too far off. Damn. So it's likely going to have to be this first in here then. So if we're doing that, like I said, I'm going to try to pick up later stuff for sure. So let's see what they say to this. Klein, Jennings, Ackland, Butsiev, a first for Seth Jones uh, and Jason Zucker and some later picks. Not sufficient at all. Interesting. Very interesting here. They really don't want to give up Seth Jones. It makes sense. You would have to give up a lot for a guy like this, even as a rental. Wow, okay. Still saying too far off. That sucks. Hmm, well, I do still want to make this. I still think this would help us out a lot. But we might have to downgrade a little bit on the rental side of things. Although I don't necessarily want to. He's <laughs> Seth Jones would be really good. All right, I think we're going to try something like this. Now, we've taken out the picks, and we're going to add in this Pekarinen guy. This is the other elite guy who we don't think is really going to turn out to be that much because his offensive stats isn't that good, defense isn't even that great. He's just a lot of extra value here. So we're going to go with Klein, Jennings, uh, Ackerlin, and Pekarinen and go for Seth Jones, Zucker, and then throw in this Lee guy because he's got one year left. He's just, just a roster guy that we have to throw in, and then try to go for the second and the third as well. So this is a pretty large trade. Let's see what they say. No, the value on the table is still too far off. Fuck, man. Remove the second. There we go. Okay, so we get a third back. I'm not too upset with this. I think this is a really good deal. Yeah, we got, we got Seth Jones, man. And he might only be a rental, but we didn't have to give up anything that was that big. Pekka Rinnan really isn't that much. Ackerlin, we're not really going to use him. Yeah, I, I'm i okay with what we had to give up. And Zucker should be really, really good here for this third line. Alright, we're going to have to fix our uh, PK and stuff here. That's okay. Now we could put... I might try Barzal here on the penalty kill for a while, or I could go back to what I had before. Which I might do. Or we could try a Langenbrunner or something like that. He's pretty good. Or Berzgalov. Let's throw Berzgalov in there for a bit. I don't know. Uh, okay, oh man, I'll have to I'll have to do a lot of this. Hold on. Yeah. I might I might actually uh do some editing here depending on how long this takes. Alright, so these are gonna be the lines. Uh we're gonna we're gonna try Hogan out on the first line here because we did we did see, still seem to have some trouble scoring, so we're gonna give him a shot on the first line, see how he does with Barzal and Cullen. Uh Panarin, Brzgalov, Kane will be on the second line. So Panarin Kane reunited. Uh Zucker, Langenbrunner, Stevenson, then Boo, Solin, and McKay. Uh, here's where our defensive core is. Dahlin, Jones, Bouchard, Kiprasov, Yoki, Pocket, and Blunden. Um, Got to think of maybe some extra ice time that Blunden can get somewhere. 
but uh so he doesn't get pissed but uh, i don't know if i can do that right now and then uh power play we're going back with panarin barzal Colin, and then dolan and now with jones we're gonna see how that does hogan brzgalov kane uh Langenbrunner and Bouchard so back to a similar sort of a uh, setup that we had when we had Carlson only that it's Seth Jones here now instead of Carlson but everything else is pretty much the same besides obviously Langenbrunner the point and but yeah it's the same sort of format there's a four man penalty kill now yeah I, I don't really have Blendon in anywhere else now besides the top six which might hurt his morale but we, we do need to win some games here I can put him in instead of Yoki Pock on the penalty kill, but I don't know how well he would do there. I mean, I could try it for a bit instead of Yoki Pock. Uh, it'd give us two righties, and I don't know how well that does, but... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not too sure. I might just keep Yoki Pock in there for now, but... You know, let's try it. I, I don't want to screw him up. Uh, let, yeah, let's, let's just try him in there. If it, if it doesn't work out too well, we'll, we'll like I said, we always have Yoki Pocket, but I don't want this guy getting insanely demoralized or anything like that. So let's try to keep his head above water. Anyway, that is, uh, I think I've showed all the extras or maybe not the three on three. Here's the three on three extra attacker, all that kind of stuff. So we got Seth Jones in there. So very big trade to start things off. And I do want to get some extra picks and stuff this year. So we're going to look to trade away some junk here as well. We have one first, one second, two thirds, only one, four, five, and six. So we de I definitely want to get some extra stuff for uh, some of the junk that we're not really going to use. Yeah, these uh, these bottom six guys are nothing. So let's throw three of these guys in there and get like three picks back from somewhere. Look for like maybe a not a good team. So the picks are pretty... Oh, hello. Toronto's a bad team. There we go. Let's grab some stuff from Toronto here. Well, they have maybe five, five, six, or I know we can get a five, six, seven. Yeah, let's get a five, six, seven. Let's get that. Oh no, we couldn't. Quite far off. What are you talking about? Huh? Six, seven, maybe a seven next year. I guess three bottom six is not enough. Here we go. We got that. All right. What else? Get ourselves maybe a four and a five for the next two. Two yellow top nines, except they're gonna tell us same guy for a single roll. So. Uh, they'll probably tell us the same thing since they're both on the block. You have to, we actually have to find some not on the block because they're, they're just going to tell us you're sending us a, the same, uh, our two players for the same role or whatever. It's weird. I might be able to just get a four and a five for these two. Maybe. Let's try. Maybe even get a six. Probably not, but let's try. No, pretty far away. Maybe it's not. Nah, probably can't get a seven, but I'm going to try it anyway. I don't even know if I'll be able to get the 4 and the 5. Okay, I did get the 4 and the 5. Good. All right, so we got a 4 and a 5 for those two guys. Getting a few extra picks here. We got two fours, two fives, two sixes, two sevens, uh, two threes, and one two. Not bad. That's looking a lot better. Anything else that I could throw in here? Uh, I want to hold on to the top sixes, obviously, so I think that'll pretty much be it. Yeah, I think that's it. Cool. Any goalies? I don't think so. I think we got rid of the only unsigned one we had. Yep. All right. So we're full. We're all good here. So that was a trade deadline. Pretty uh, pretty blockbuster trade there. Bringing in Seth Jones. It's been a while since we traded for a huge piece like that and sent back the value that we did. But like I said, the value that we sent back wasn't that big of a deal in my opinion. Klein, he's he's inflated value for what he brings to the table. Same with uh, Pekka Rinnan. And a starting goalie is a starting goalie. You could find those in the fourth round, man. So, uh... Yeah, I think those are good trades. You guys obviously let me know, but I think this should benefit us. But it'll, it'll depend on how our team's going to do. I'm just going to take one more look here to make sure I'm not missing anything with these lines. I don't want to screw anything up here, obviously. <laughs> so I'm taking one more quick look here, especially at the power play and the penalty kill. Salon and Zucker, Brzezgov, McKay. Yep, looks good. Salon and we're trying to have bars all in the three man here. I don't know. We'll see. Yep, all looks good then. Gravy. Okay, so there we have it. All right, so yep, we're ready. Ho I'm gonna Hogan. It it'll depend. I don't know. He's got what forty four points right now. So forty four points for Hogan. We see how the first line does. Really, I mean, it it just depends on how our team's gonna do, man. I don't know. 
And Kane's been pretty good about not declining throughout this year, but I feel it. I think I feel it coming still, which we don't have that much to to bring him up. But with his offensive stats, I don't think it'll matter too much. He's he's really still filthy offensively. So yeah. All right, time to sim. I think. <laughs> Let's see how these uh these uh these new lines do us. We, and then we're gonna hold on to Luke, and then, yeah, he might lose the value because he's not having a fantastic year. But if his stats start going back up, then maybe he maybe he maintains some of that, and we can still tender him and trade him for some val uh, for some value if we want to. Or if he drops off, maybe we could use him as a backup. I'm not too sure. I think it was at 84, so maybe he's not 100% backup material. We'll have to see what happens with that. We'll figure that out as we go. But there's a lot of games here, a lot of games here still to prove that we are a playoff team. And it's time to get down to business to defeat the Huns. So let's go. New York, New York. Let's do it, baby. All right. I really hope these lines are going to be good. <laughs> they damn well should be. Well, there's a loss right there in the shootout. Not great. And another loss. Okay. <laughs> then we win. Come on, defense. Get a little bit better. You should be really good. Don't lie to me. All right. Come on, guys. Get time, time, time to get into it. We got to win the games here. All right. There we go. There's a win. Uh, Zucker is fully healed. Well, he's just a minor injury. He's okay. There's another win. Good. Another win. Good. Looks like our defense is starting to find its form. Three games. Only one goal against in all of them. That's what I'm talking about. Another win right there. We allowed some goals, but we scored some goals. And maybe in the past, you know, in the recent hit pass, that might not have been the case. So, uh, I'm liking how we're looking so far. Let's do two and one here, most likely. I can get away with that. Uh, Bickle's fully healed. Well, Okay. Carolina, oh my goodness, a good win right there, another win, we are on a streak, we're going streaking right now here in New York, oh no, Evan Bouchard with a pulled groin, that's not too good, April 3rd, that's actually a bit of time, he will be back for the playoffs, but that is a bit of time, so alright, we're gonna be missing him, we're gonna, oh, London's an 83, let's move him up, and then we'll just throw in uh, Miranoff here, I'll do sub in all lives, but I will make the changes that we need, obviously, I'll put Blunden in here, Blunt in there for the power play. Four man, I'm not going to worry about. Penalty kill. I'll leave him in the penalty kill because he's a good penalty killer. <laughs> he's a good defensive guy, as I recall. Uh, the four on four really doesn't matter that much, so I'm not going to worry about it. Three on three. The third one. Mm. I'll put Blunt in there. Makes, yeah, three on three. That's overtime and stuff. We Extra points are crucial at this, at this juncture. So there we go. That'll be the lines. I'll just remember him. He's still on the... Uh, I'll remember to make the switches when... Bouchard comes back. So that's a tough injury. Oh, yeah. There's Patrick Kane down to an 83 now. So, yeah, he did decline. But we're still winning. Another win. We have just been an absolute tear. We can't lose right now. Oh, we finally lose. But it's... Okay, we lose twice. Damn. Two back-to-backs. We got a point out of one of them, though. But that's what I'm talking about, man. Absolute tear right there. There we go. Okay, so... Seems we kind of figured out what we were missing there. Evan Bouchard is available. Let's wait till he's fully healed. No need to rush him back. Uh, t ooh, three losses in a row now. He's fully healed. All right, let's get him back in there. Blunden down. Bouchard back in. And he was on the power play. Uh, penalty kill should be already back in, and it's a three on three, I believe, with the only two I took him off of. Manually, or changed him manually. Everything else should have been mirroring off in there. Well, let's double check because I have been known to make mistakes a few times in this one, and it might have cost us a playoff series. Just one. <laughs> I think we're good. Oh, excuse me. So, hiccups. How's Hogan been doing? Oh, yeah. I think that's pretty damn good. Oh, wow. 70 points out for Barzal, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! Brzgalov! <laughs> I like it. Cool. All right, let's finish off this season. Then it'll take a, a more in... Oh, my God. That's a bunch of losses in a row. Can we not? Okay, we're just going to lose out the rest of the season, I guess. Interesting. <laughs> We were doing so good. We had a massive streak, and then we just lost a shit ton of games. We lost every single game there. What the shit? Come on, guys. What was up with that? Seriously. How many games in a row do we lose? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six game losing streak to end the season after a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Oh, God damn it, guys. Come on. 
How are you going to do that? That's only a 2 to 1 win-loss ratio there at the end. I expected a bit better. How you lose all those fucking games, man? That's 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 stupid. What the hell? It's not really what we wanted there at the end especially, but whatever. All right, let's uh let's do the bit of a wrap up here. I don't know what place we came in, but it, it obviously we made the playoffs. I didn't expect us to miss it. Barzal led the team points with 72. Great season for him. Yeah, we got well, we got second, not too bad, but didn't hit 100 points and that I expect our team to get 100 points. New Jersey had a tremendous season. Wow. Yeah, we didn't hit 100 points. That's ugh. We we should have if we didn't lose fucking every single game at the end there. That was ridiculous. Goals for below 3, not okay. Goals against not okay. That should be better still. Power play, meh. Uh, wh what the hell's I don't get it. Why is our penalty kill so bad? Fuck, man. I'm I'm just going to leave it cuz it's probably going to be really good in the playoffs. Fuck you. I don't, I don't understand it. Our penalty kill shouldn't be this bad. I I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. It's, it literally makes zero sense. All our players on the penalty killer are really good defensively. Explain to me. Maybe I'll try, try Yoki fucking pocket in there, but <laughs> everything else literally makes zero sense why this is a bad penalty kill. I, I, again, I don't understand it. What makes a fucking good penalty kill in this game? Because to me, putting defensive players in there should, should make it a good penalty kill. Colin, what the fuck, man? Still, he's not even a 30 goal scorer. What is your issue, man? Like, seriously. I don't understand why <laughs> why you don't perform well. Even Hogan didn't do too good, man. I don't really know. All of these guys who should be good at production are really shit. <sighs> I don't know. I don't get it. Colin should be way better. How many shots? Need more shots out of him, probably. Maybe I could try him on his one-time side next year if Hogan wants to be on the first line on the opposite side I, I don't know again i don't know i don't know what the issue is cullen you're just fucking weird you're an amazing player and yet <laughs> your production says otherwise kane got good points yeah i mean we got a lot of good spread out production from everywhere don't mind zucker he had a lot of points when he came here but yeah i mean come on dolan's only getting like 50 point seasons man like I don't get that. <laughs> this guy should be, like, top dog. And I understand that we have, you know, guys next to him taking away points. But uh, with his offensive stats, he should be, like, our first line should be doing way, way, way better. Again, like I said, we're under three goals per game, which is not okay for this team. But whatever. Oof. Yeah, we've dropped off a few places, definitely. But what can you do? Yeah, Lukanen, no, he's done. Lukanen is done. He's uh, he's losing that statistical growth. Even with another great defensive player in there, he's just done. He's going to lose his statistical growth. And that's that's no question. So, whatever. He's not going to have the value next year. We're going to tender and trade, but Grattan's going to be the guy that we go to. He's still 22. He's still got plenty of room to grow. So, yeah, don't worry about it too much. But it does suck. Lukanen, this is just the year he was meant to fall off, evidently. So he's going to fall off. So I think he's the major reason for our goals against. I mean, we got Seth Jones, for God's sakes, and he didn't improve. That's that's very telling. If you get someone like Seth Jones in there with those kind of that kind of defense, I mean, that is very telling if he if he still falls off after that. There's no other way to talk. Like, there's no other way around it. Like, it's he's going to fall off. But, yeah, uh... Again, man, I don't I don't know what it is about my first line. Like, Cullen especially. He's just never... He's like, yeah, he's a goal scorer, but... He's not a consistent 30-goal guy. Like, he's had two 30-goal years. He needs to be a consistent 30-goal guy. I mean, we're on the... I'm not gonna... I'm not I'm not gonna trend him yet. I'm not willing to get, give, get rid of him. I'm not really gonna give up on him. I'm gonna try Hogan on the first line next year, probably. And this guy put him on his one-time side and see if Barzal, Hogan, Cullen is the... Is kind of the combination on the, on the sides that they need to really get that line going. If not, then obviously... It's, I think Cullen's just got to go and we got to get a better shooter. Plain and simple. Because he's, he's had opportunities to succeed here. Definitely. He's had plenty of opportunities to succeed. Uh, anyway, whatever the case, we might be able to even get Panarin for the second line. He might drop off a bit. Who knows? Anyway, um, wow, what the hell, man? Our depth is all minuses. What? <laughs> Again, I don't really get that. They're all really good defensively. What is the issue here? Why are my good defensive players not good playing good defensively? 
I, I it doesn't it makes no sense to me. I don't get it, EA. Why? Yeah, man, it's so weird. It's really weird. And they're good offensively too. Like that's the thing. Like they they're not going to turn the puck over a lot because of their good offensive skills. So why are they getting scored on so much? Again, it could just be because of our goalie. Like <laughs> it could just be because Lucan is having such a shit year. It could be that you know him having that kind of year is just is going to make us have a lot of minuses on our team. And like and that you know that kind of makes sense. But it just it's not it's not fun to look at. You know you don't you don't really judge by plus minus two too much because it's a very it's a very interesting stat. And our team was a lot worse than it than it has been this year than last year so i don't think it just still sucks seeing you know you got all these amazing defensive guys and your penalty kill shit and your bottom six is shit for some reason and like i said that doesn't make sense to me but yeah whatever whatever we had a lot of almost 50 point guys but still since we were below three goals four per game i wanted you know i, I need more out of some of these guys especially colin especially a guy like colin especially a guy like hogan but like I said, give Hogan a full full time on that, you know, first line. Maybe maybe that's what he needs. And Cullen on the left side, change to a left winger. Who knows? We can even try that right now. But for the playoffs, do we want to move Panarin back up there or or what? <laughs> I don't know. Cullen, you know, Hogan back down, Panarin up. Because Hogan, definitely more of the playmaker guy where it seems like Kane is hybrid-ish. And even Brisgall is more of a goal scorer. So Panarin kind of had to fill into that role. I don't, I don't know. It's Panarin and Hogan kind of produced around the same sort of sort of way, so I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's look at the league here before we are really worrying about that. All right, so Taylor Hall led in points and John Tavares close behind. So there we go. Should have kept Tavares. No, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, it was worth it for Dolan, I'd say. I don't know though, since he's only getting 55, 60 point seasons, he's never with his 99 awareness. Who knows? All right, there's Kucherov up there. So Taylor Hall, I don't know if any, I don't think anyone guessed him. Yeah. All right, and not a lot, as you can see, just not a lot of points scored. No one broke uh, 100. No one even broke 90. Like that's kind of kind of interesting. Yeah. Well, let's see here. Let me just stick with forwards for now. Let's go for goals. It looks like Tavares. Uh, no, Tarasenko with 48. Assist leader is Trocek with 61. Jesus. Plus minus leader. Kucherov with 41. All right. Okay. And power play points. Sorry, guys. I I'm lost my train of thought. My mouth is really hurting right now. So I'm sorry. Uh, power play goal 17. Who's the most clutch? Tavares with 13. I might have to do the playoffs in the next episode, guys. Sorry. I'm just thinking about that right now. My mouth is killing me. Okay. Hits. Yeah. I'm, I'm even doing it all backwards here, doing hits already. A lot of hits for Horvat. Takeaways there. McDavid probably going to win. Yeah, most likely going to win the Selkie. Okay. Let's check out the defenseman here. Uh, Bokefist. I don't. Yeah, Bokefist leading in points. So that's a new one. Bokefist, Carlson missed it by a couple. And what's his name is way down there with 55. God damn it, Dolan. You ever going to have an amazing year? With the first line that we have, you goddamn well should. But Cullen and, and Dolan are not having good year. I don't know. I don't know what the issue is. <laughs> okay, well, goaltenders now. What about the 60 games? Uh-oh, is Hella Suck going to make us do the thing now? Nope. Oh my goodness, Blackwood! <laughs> I remember someone, I'm pretty sure someone guessed them, Blackwood. Yeah, fine. New Jersey had a good year in Blackwood, had himself a crazy, ridiculous Vesna year. Yeah, that's Vesna, no question, no one's even coming close. Demko did pretty good, but Blackwood, what a friggin' year for that guy, holy crap. Statistical growth hype. That's probably why Lucan didn't do too good. Because this guy, too many other guys with good statistical growth now at this point. <laughs> uh, Subban's probably going to get statistical growth after that kind of year. At least up to like 87, 88. Alright, rookies here. Uh, Bennett. Some guy. 50 points for him. Any rookie goalies? Nope. Okay, we'll look at the fun stats real quick. 
We already did hits, so... Fights. Uh, oh my god, Dachin. Almost 40 fights. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Solonin didn't even fight since I cranked down his fighting. I cranked it from often to rarely. Maybe I should leave it at sometimes. Yeah, I should leave it at sometimes, actually, because he didn't fight since then. And then McKay. How many fights did McKay have? Probably two or three. Blunden fought twice, so yeah, two or something for McKay then, I guess. Yeah, I'll leave him, I'll leave him to sometimes then. Yeah, McKay, oh, McKay only had one fight, and he's set to sometimes. Okay, so I guess sometimes is what you want to set the fighting to, so they actually will fight a couple times. Yeah. All right. That's all good. I'll leave, I'll leave him, I'll, I'll leave it how it is for now, though. Oh, man. Okay, that's that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do the playoffs, so we might have a short video next year, or I might get the draft, and depending on how long it is. How, our, how deep our run is. I'm sorry, guys. Just my mouth is absolutely killing me right now. Okay. Patrick Kane. Yeah, Patrick Kane is declining further. McKay got a bit. Blunden grew, though. He's got statistical minuses, which is weird, but that's how it goes. Uh, Spooner, my God, is up to an 80 overall. So he's obviously going to be ready for NHL next year. <laughs> no question. We might still need Panarin for like one more year. Or maybe there's something better in free agency that we can go for. But, yeah, Spooner. Hopefully he takes more shots. Uh, ooh, his offensive stats are not as good, but he's got a good shot. Discipline's low, but his aggressiveness is too, so that's okay. All right, not too bad. Not too bad whatsoever. All right, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to leave it here. My mouth is killing me. So uh, we'll do the playoffs and such in the next one. So I hope you, hope you guys understand. All right, so that'll be it. This will be Sin signing off. Remember to leave that like. Let me know what you thought about the trade and everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.